Hi there, it's Chase again with Greenstone Media. Hope your day's going well. If you've watched the previous video, we went through the framework so you could create a message that your students buy. Um, and if you have gone through those segments, you are well on your way on executing a plan to grow your enrollment. Today, we're gonna be going over um, all the components of a website that works and grows your enrollment. Um, I'm really excited to be going through this with you today. Um, and as we're going through this, if there's anything that resonates with you or if you would like a, a complimentary website um, assessment, um, you can book a call with myself here um, and we can help you get this installed and implemented so your institution has a website that grows your enrollment. Um, and you probably get this, your website is your institution's front door and often it's one of the first interactions prospective students have within your organization. And here's the critical piece. You have about five seconds, maybe even less, to capture their attention. So you don't have a second to waste in telling a story that moves students into action. And a lot of colleges and universities are losing potential students because they don't have a website that works. Their site is more focused on telling a story rather than inviting students into a story and making them the hero. And that's, there's good news. There is a simple fix, and by following some of these best practices, you can create a website that captures the attention of your target audience and inspires them to take action. So going through the components of a website that works, um, your website is much more than an online brochure or a placeholder on the internet. It should be a sales machine generating enrollment leads 24-7. And how do you make that happen? By ensuring your website has these four critical components. The first one is, is putting a tagline above the fold. The second one is having a clear call to action. And the third one, show what success looks like for your students. And the fourth and final one is make sure that you're being concise when describing your programs. Um, and so the very first one, doing a deep dive on that, on placing a tagline above the fold, because we mentioned this earlier, those first five seconds on your website are so crucial when visitors are coming, the most important place to start on your website is above the fold, if you will. And that term is derived from newspapers, and it's what people immediately see on the tap, top half of the front page of your website. Or in the case of a website, what people immediately see before they scroll down. It's what captures readers' attention or sends them away. So imagine someone has just typed in a question or searched for best colleges near me or some specific program and they're experiencing a problem and they're coming to Google searching for answers. Now when they arrive at your website's openings lines, they need to see two things to stay hooked. And that is a tagline and a clear, concise statement of your offering. Tell prospective students about what you can do for them in a simple way. Don't waste the valuable real estate above your fold section trying to be cute or clever. Don't be vague. Visitors will leave your website if they don't read your opening info and think, yes, that's me. Remember, someone just came to your website looking for what you offer. If you lose them, that's your fault. But if you want to be successfully positioned, or if you want to successfully position your institution as the right solution, simply ask yourself this question. How do you make your audience's life better? The smile you give a satisfied graduate or the energy you feel when reading a glowing testimonial. That's what you should aim to convey above the fold. For example, the University of Phoenix has this tagline in a short, clear statement. Dare to dream. Whether you need help choosing a program, find, finding ways to save cost, or understanding how school fits into your life, we're here to help. Website visitors understand quickly this is an organization that not only provides higher education, resources, and a path for your dream career, but they'll also save you money while learning at your pace. How can you tell your audience what you will do for them? All right, second, you need to make sure you have a clear call to action. And it's surprising how many websites don't have a call to action. If higher ed institutions don't ask students to apply or schedule a campus tour, they won't do it. 
You're losing out on new students when you don't have this one simple button in multiple places on your website. In a world of one-click buying, people don't have the attention span to track down your phone number. They aren't going to spend five minutes looking for your email or a contact form. Remember, most people land on your website because they were experiencing a problem. Address their problem, show them your solution, and give them a way to buy or enroll, if you will. Here are examples of calls to action that work well for colleges and universities. Enroll now, schedule an appointment today, book a campus tour, and some calls to action you should avoid using. Learn more, get started, contact us. Put that call to, buck, put that call to action button on every page of your website and do that more than once. Think of the call to action button as the point of your entire website. Without it, your website simply won't work. So next, you need to show what success looks like for your students. It's easy for colleges and universities to use their website to talk about themselves, their mission, pictures of buildings, and their dedication to serving students. When you Make your websites all about you, it's not effective. Why? Your prospective students want to mentally check off these two items when they are looking at your website. Do they solve the problem I have? Do they solve it quickly, affordably, etc.? You need to answer those two questions clearly and simply. Then you need to show happy, smiling students who are experiencing successful results. Showcase this success through the images you use testimonials, and the words you have on your website. Does your website convey a picture of your students talking and smiling about your campus or university? Your university doesn't have to become something else to experience marketing success. You just have to take the story your students are already experiencing and reflect it on your website. At the end of the day, the story of student experience and student success is what will sell your prospective audience. In fact, 92% of all customers read online reviews before they buy. It's the modern day equivalent of hearing someone talk about your product on the street. Have you made your website a place where your students are talking about you? And here's some examples of just what we're going through. Um, again, make sure that your institution has students enjoying time on campus, whether it's in the classroom. You can see how we're talking about uh, showcasing testimonials from alumni. Um, and then that way, when your prospective audience are coming through and they are seeing how someone just like them has had their problem solved by your institution, it just shows that um, area of truth that they're looking for and it shows the uh, or not truth that they're looking for but um, how you can solve their problems just like you did for another alumni. Um, next you need to be concise and clear when you're describing your programs. Here's the problem that most institutions run into when they talk about what they do. They use insider language that only their team members or industry experts would understand. We call this the curse of knowledge. And in the previous video we posted, we go through a deep dive on making sure that you have this messaging framework to do that. But it's like when you go to the mechanic and he starts telling you what's wrong with your car, but you don't have a clue on what he's talking about. All you need to know is that someone is that before the car was making this awful noise and that someone here can fix it. Similarly, this is what a visitor needs when they are browsing your website. Speak their language. Use the words your students use. Most institutions really struggle to speak in, a, speak in a way that's easily digestible. Why? They want so desperately to come across as an expert. The problem is, is if you talk out of the textbook and your audience doesn't know the textbook, they won't buy. People simply don't buy what they can't understand. And here are some wise words from Albert Einstein to help you simplify your genius. If you can't explain it to a six-year-old, you don't know it yourself. Apply that concept to your website, asking how you can simplify your content so a six-year-old could understand it. 
All right, so the takeaway, by implementing all of these four techniques we've gone through, your college or university will be so much closer to having a website that works and grows your enrollment. Instead of losing visitors, your website will successfully engage your audience and get them to take action. And if you need help with implementing any of these components on your website, you can click on this link here and you can book a call with our team. On this call, we'll, we will provide a complimentary website assessment, outline what you need, and if you would like us to install this for you, we will do this, and that way you can be confident and have a website that grows your enrollment. I hope you find this helpful and have a great rest of your day.